Hey, my name is Quentin and welcome to the very first episode of Coding with Beard. I'll give you a brief intro to my intentions for this channel and I hope you stick around and subscribe for more. I'll be posting short drunk friendly tutorials for beginner to intermediate programmers looking to get a handle on some of the more useful APIs out there by building a series of completely useless web apps for fun, beer by beer. In this one, I'll be hacking together a little something using Twilio's voice API. Uh, why, you might ask? Well, if you're a normal person like me, or anyone else in the world with a phone, you've probably received a few phone calls from telemarketers and scammers, and despite telling them to never call you again, or you'll wish cancer on them every night at 11-11 until they die a lonely death at the reasonable age of 81, they fucking call back. Uh, this guy called me last week telling me I was approved for an auto loan that I applied for, but he addressed me by name, so I knew he didn't have the wrong phone number. Uh, being the kind, polite, stand-up Canadian I am, I told him to have a great day and hung up. A few days later, he called me back with the same shit, and I asked him if it was a scam, and he informed me that yes, in fact, it was. Fuck that guy. But fortunately, his uh, number was visible. Awesome. So I called him back, asked him how his day was going, I asked him what his favorite color was, I asked him what he was wearing, I asked him on a date. Um, just a lot of really inappropriate questions, and eventually he called me a motherfucker and hung up. So, <laughs> it's on, bitch. I immediately had the idea to just build an auto dialer and just spam him with phone calls all weekend and just hopefully prevent any other victims from giving out their social insurance numbers or credit card numbers or anything else that he wanted. I figured this would be pretty easy with Twilio. Sidetracking a little, they're great. I love Twilio. Their API is really easy to follow. They've got libraries out there for pretty much every language you can imagine. Um, I've used them in the past for some SMS related projects, and this is kind of my first application of their uh, voice API. Great for phone calls. You control pretty much the entire flow of the conversation with an XML file that you just upload to your server and just let it work. <laughs> um, I love it. So because Halloween's coming up, why not just call them back with my favorite Halloween song in the world over and over and over again all weekend. So we're going to build this one together while I enjoy a nice beer and do what I love, build shitty web apps. Let's get started. And of course, since the channel is called Coding with Beer, the beer we'll be drinking tonight is a local favorite of mine, Fat Tug IPA, produced by Driftwood Brewing in Victoria, BC. If you're into the hoppy stuff, I can't recommend this one enough. Uh, it's 7% alcohol and comes in 650 ml bottles. If you can get it nearby, give it a go. It's great. All right, let's get started. So the text editor I'll be using in this tutorial is Adam. Uh, you're free to use whatever you want. Uh, text Wrangler, Notepad, Notepad++, go crazy. But if you're a fan of Sublime and you haven't tried Atom, just go ahead and try it. Treat yourself, it's free. Um, I love it. The sidebar highlighting, if you're in a Git project, is amazing. Uh, it shows you what's in your Git ignore, shows you changes, everything. It's great, I love it. Um, it's totally free, compatible with Windows, Mac, and most Linux distros. Twilio, we are going to need to sign up to use this API. It's kind of sort of free, but unfortunately we'll need to purchase a phone number if you're making calls out of it. It only costs about a buck, so it's not a huge loss. You don't have to purchase calling time, but free tier accounts will play a message informing you that your ass is indeed cheap uh, before it plays your specific message. So if you're calling people off the free tier with it, they're kind of going to look down on you for being a cheap fuck. So... Unfortunately, you do have to make payments in about $20 chunks, but you will get a lot of fun out of that. Like, go have a good time. Okay, once you've gone ahead and logged into Twilio, your dashboard should pop right up. You may need to create a project first. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, but once all that's set up, you should have an account SID and an auth token. And that should be enough to start building your application. Twilio is all set up. We're going to go ahead and write this application. It should be... Uh, should be fairly straightforward. So let's let's define our main uh, main function here. Notice this is right after the hash bang. This is the important part. This is what tells your program that it is in fact a Python program, um, and this is going to load Python from whatever you know, whatever happens when you type in Python here. So we know it's two point seven point one zero. Um, so Oh my god. Okay. So it's 2.7. That's fine. We've installed the package for uh, for Twilio already with uh, just, just a standard pip install uh, for Twilio. Great. I've already downloaded it, 
So we don't really need to worry about it. It might take a little bit longer in your machine. That's fine. Pause this video. We'll get back to it. Uh, let's go back into Atom. Uh, let's uh, keep writing this program. So we had to find some constants. This will be this will be things like your from phone number, uh, the target phone number that you're calling. Uh, we also have some authentication information coming directly from Twilio. You may have noticed that on your dashboard page. We're just going to go ahead and load that in here right now. So uh, our constants. Oh my god. So we've got a from. Uh, Twilio specifies you have to have a plus in front of the phone number, so don't forget that. We're just going to put a placeholder in there right now, uh, just standard 10 numbers. We have a 2. Uh, we're going to have a count, which is not a constant, but it's going to be a capital N anyways. Uh, we got 2. Oh my god. We've got a limit. Uh, if you want to just keep calling them back repeatedly, it's fine by me. Just do like a while true, should be should be good. But you know, I'm just gonna limit it to 20 because I don't wanna be in the poorhouse because of Twilio. Uh, I mean, it'll take probably years to uh, deplete my account at like a couple cents a minute, but. So count, we got our limit, we got our to, we got our from. Uh, we also need an account, SID. Uh, we also need an auth token. And with those two, we have to hook up our client object, and this is what kind of ties everything back to your account. Um, wonderful helper function from Twilio. I'm, I'm kind of glad they wrote this. This saves you a lot of work. Um, client equals client account SID auth token. So you might notice we haven't actually imported that yet, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, uh, from twilio.rest import client. So this is what's going to do all the heavy lifting for you. Um, just be thankful it exists. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, and because we're going to, like, I, I want to schedule this to just do something every minute. Because doing something every minute is super annoying. So so this is a, this is a system library that you know, hopefully it syncs everything up to your uh, system clock. We are going to do a little while loop that happens here. So while, you can wait, while count is less than limit. And I keep doing some stuff over and over and over again. Call equals client.calls.create. Two is two. Yeah. From equals from. And URL. Regarding the URL, this is something that you might need to throw up on your server. You're welcome to use mine. That's fine, but they're going to hear Spooky Scary Skeletons over and over and over again. Um, I mean, great song. You might as well. But I'd, I'd prefer my server doesn't get bombarded by the five people watching this video. So, so URL points to an XML file that tells Twilio how to compose your phone call. It basically organizes what happens immediately after the recipient picks up the phone call. Play an audio file. You can even just like tell it to play a voice. Uh, in this case, we're just going to tell it to play Spooky Scary Skeletons. I have them downloaded here already in the file. I'll show you. I'll show you the XML file right now. This is basically it. Like it, this handles pretty much everything. I have that. I have that song on my server right now. Uh, Spooky Scary Skeletons. You can download that at uh, this link here. You're also welcome to use just this file. Just copy and paste it. Whatever. Uh, maybe get rid of the record here. There, that is an option should you choose to use it, but you can, you know, just not record your calls because it's creepy and uh, nothing interesting is going to happen. So don't worry about it. But Spooky Scary Skeletons, let's do a little preview of that. That's my favorite Halloween song in the world. Shivers down your spine. 
you get the picture. Halloween masterpiece, best song ever. So this voice.xml file I have hosted on my personal server right now. Um, and as you can see in this link, uh, we, we, need to, we need to tell it to do something. So let's just give it my website for now, qneville.com slash static slash voice.xml. Easy. We need to increment that count. And we also need to tell it to wait a minute. Uh, so we also need something to call this main function, so let's do that now. If name Okay. Main gets called from here. We set our start time. Not really necessary, but you know, whatever. Uh, we get a from number, our two number, count, limit, auth token, and SID. And uh, we establish our client here. And we should just be able to swap in all of our information from Twilio and everything should just work. So I'm gonna pop over to my account and uh, just load this up and let's see how it goes. All right, so I've added all the necessary account information that is necessary to make this phone call. Uh, I've got a from number, which is directly from Twilio. That's the number that I've purchased. I've got a to number, which is my personal cell phone number. I've got my auth token and account SID. Make this phone call. It's gonna call my cell phone from Twilio. It's gonna call this URL that tells it what to do. And the first thing it's gonna do is play this uh, spooky.mp3. Go ahead and call my cell phone and see how this works. Because we created this file, I don't think I've done this yet. Uh, we need to do a sudo chmod plus x dialer.py. So now it's executable. So now we can call it. We can do uh, dialer.py. Yeah, of course we have an error. Easy fix. So I don't know if you can hear that vibration, but that is my cell phone. So I can hang up and I guarantee it's gonna call back in about 60 seconds. Okay, so I guess this is kind of sufficiently annoying for pretty much any purpose. Uh, I guess we can call it done. Um, as you can see, it's still running. And, oh, sure enough, there we go. My phone is ringing again. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this down. Um, I guess I guess we can call this done. Have fun. Uh, call a bunch of scammers. You know you're just on a sketchy website. A one eight hundred number pops up for I don't know your computer having a virus. Call them repeatedly. Tie up their phone lines. They're scammers. They're pieces of shit. I absolutely hate them. They're doing no good for the world. And by calling them repeatedly, you're probably saving a victim. Uh, from from being called like these Microsoft tech support scams. Uh, my neighbor, awesome old guy named Ron, he's been hit like three times and it's cost him about three hundred dollars. It's it's terrible. They just they prey on old people. They prey on people who just aren't technologically savvy and just you know financially fuck them. Prevent victims from being called. Give Twilio all your business, even though they're probably using Twilio's products to do these calls in the first place. Yeah, that's all I can say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, I'm going to post more videos hopefully in a week from now. I'm just I'm trying to figure my life out. Really want to have fun with these. I'm hoping in the future I can just make some crazy weird videos like compile like combining two very unlikely APIs.
to just do something kind of cool and kind of pointless at the same time. And by watching it and subscribing, you're, you know, helping me make it happen. Thank you for watching. Happy hacking and have a happy Halloween.